Hi, in this video, we will be discussing about the CRM for educational institutes. I will be showing you how you can manage your educational institutes data end to end using Solid Performer CRM, which is one of the best suitable CRM for educational institutes. Using Solid Performer CRM, you can be able to manage your raw data, which you can provide it for your telecallers for making outbound calls. And these applications are basically the enquiries what you are receiving from any third party sources or the ads which you are running. All those data will be coming to the application sections. So from application you can be able to convert the potential prospective students into prospects. And from here you can be able to convert this particular prospect students into admissions once they are willing to proceed with your institute. Now in between if required you can be able to create receipts and you can be able to manage the receipts with multiple payments as well. You can also be able to add and manage the programs. So with the help of this, there is no need for you to fetch the data of the programs all the time. And whenever required, you can be able to fetch this data while creating a receipt. You can also be able to generate reports using our CRM and you can also be able to create custom reports as per your requirement using Solid Performance CRM. Using timesheet, you can be able to monitor all your employees punch in and punch out time. So from which time to which time they work on. In the executive module, all your users data will be available. From here, you can be able to set user role restrictions so that they can be able to access only the permission whatever is provided to them. They will not be able to access any other data for which the permission was not provided. Using the finance module, you can be able to manage your income and expenses and these income and expenses can also be linked with an admission. Moving on to dashboard. From the dashboard, you can be able to set the target for your team members or for the entire organization. And in the dashboard, you can also be able to see the payments received for this month as well as last month in a comparison chart. You can also be able to see the deal pipeline for the next one year. This is based on the, this is based on the prospects data, what we are having it in the CRM. And based on these prospects, the deal pipeline in the dashboard will be created for the next one year. You can be able to forecast your business growth easily with the help of deal pipeline. Apart from this, you can also be able to create custom dashboards based on your requirement. And in the custom dashboard, you can be able to define whatever data you want to display. For example, if you want to create a custom dashboard for the applications, you can be able to create dashboards in a graphical format based on various dynamic data which are available in the applications panel. In a similar way, you can be able to perform lots of functions using Solid Performance CRM. Moving on to raw leads. Raw leads are nothing but a bulk data which you have uploaded in bulk and you have allocated it to your sales or telecalling executive. Now these telecallers can be able to call all these leads or the students data what you are having and they can check with them whether they are interested in any of your courses. Now if these students are interested then you can be able to convert this raw lead into an application or in case in certain instances if these people are really interested you can be able to convert them directly to an admission as well. In case if you want to add a raw data manually, then you can use this button to create a new raw data. The fields which are available here are completely customizable as per your business requirement. In case if you want to add more fields, you can be able to add it. If you want to disable certain fields, you can be able to disable it. All these flexible options are available and you can be able to perform this not just in raw lead module, but you can also be able to perform the same field customization in applications, prospects or in admission. You can be able to add, edit, modify, disable any kind of fields as per your need. You can be able to perform follow-ups and many other functions. I will explain about this in detail under the applications module. Moving on to applications module. This is one of the primary module in the CRM where all of your data is getting added from any third party source directly to the CRM. You also have got the option to add a lead manually or you can be able to do bulk upload. So all these options are available. This module name also can be modified as per your business need. So application is the general term which is used in education industry. But if you want to rename this into lead or enquiry, you can be able to rename this as per your account. As I mentioned earlier, whatever fields which are available here can also be customized as per your business need. In case if you want to add 10 more new fields over here, you can be able to add it from the settings span. With regards to bulk upload, you can be able to fill all your data in the sample format and you can upload all your data in bulk. So even if you have 100,000 data in place, you can be able to import this with the help of bulk upload in an easy manner. The third way to add the leads to the CRM is through integrations. 
Now you can be able to add the leads through any of the third party integration sources like Facebook, Google, websites, landing pages, any third party lead providing sources like Just Dial, Suleika, India Mart or even if you are having tie ups with any educational institutes and they are providing the leads, all these can be integrated. The beauty is data will come directly to the CRM and there is no need for you to add any data manually and the CRM will also allocate the leads directly to the executives. So there is no manual intervention over here, everything is automated. Apart from this, you can also be able to define automations. Now these automations will be sent when an enquiry is received. You can be able to perform email, WhatsApp or SMS automations. You can also be able to do delayed automation for lead nurturing. If you want to know more about our automation functions, you can check out our separate video on automations and you will get an in-depth idea of how this automation function works. So once a lead is added to the CRM, you can be able to perform follow-ups and while performing follow-up, you can be able to add what is the next follow-up date along with the follow-up time and you can also be able to change the status. For example, if you are speaking with a person and this person is willing to attend counseling, then you can change the status to counseling and write the comments over here. So I have added like willing to attend career counseling on this date and time. Now these status which are available over here can also be customized as per your particular business flow or business need. And I'm just updating the status. Now once this is updated, I'll be getting a notification reminder on that particular day that I need to perform the follow. The follows will be shown over here and if I go to this particular page, all the pending follows will be visible. When I click on this view icon about the particular lead and if I go to the follow up section, all the follow ups whatever I have added for this particular lead will be visible over here. This will be really useful for me to understand what was the previous communication that I had with this particular applicant. Even in case if you are having more than 10-15 updates for a particular applicant all the entire history of data will be available here so that you can be able to refer this and this will really help you in making the closure faster and better. We have also provided you with 360 degree details and in 360 degree details you will get to know the details about the lead along with a lot of additional information about this particular student and you can also be able to upload any related files. For example, if this applicant has to provide any particular set of documents for your educational institute or for the course what he is attending, then he can be able to provide the document and you can be able to upload this and keep it over this section. So in future, if you want to refer this document, it will be very easy for you to refer this document because you can be able to search using the contact number and this will get transferred to the next module. That is, if you are transferring this particular applicant to an admission, then it will be moved to the admission module as well. So that you can be able to refer these data easily. Along with that, you will also be having history logs as well as in case if you have sent any email, everything will be available over here. So this covers the basic functions of the applicant module and these applications can be converted into a prospect in case if this particular person is interested or in case if this particular application reaches a particular status. Maybe you can keep a status like once it reaches counseling completed status, then you can convert this particular application into a prospect. And when you convert a particular application into a prospect, all the data associated with this particular applicant will get transferred to the prospect module. So there is no need for you to fill the data again. In the prospects module, you can have various stages as similar to the applications module, but prospects will have a lot of additional functions like prospects value, what is the value of the prospect or for which course he is doing, what is the probability. Based on this probability and the prospect value and the expected closure date, you will be getting a pipeline graph in the dashboard. Now in here also you can be able to add a follow-up and we have provided you with an option of stage and status over here. Once a prospect is interested to go ahead with admission and if he is willing to make the payment, then you can be able to convert this prospect into an admission. Now when you are converting them to an admission, you can be able to convert this prospect into an admission and when you change this prospect into an admission, the status will get updated here as converted to admissions. And all the other action buttons will get removed from here so that you can be able to perform all the future updates directly from the admissions panel. From the admissions module, you can be able to create receipts for the students. You can also be able to have a various status over here in the admissions module. For example, these stages can be course completed or onboarding in process or document pending, document submitted. So 
Since this suits various industry, you can be able to customize it as per your business need and however you want, you can be able to make use of it. From the receipts module, you can be able to create receipts and you can be able to add multiple payments. For example, if you see this, this is directly paid status, but this is having a status of first payment, third payment, second payment. Like that, in case if you are receiving the payments in EMI or in multiple part payments, you can also be able to track everything over here. And along with that, you can also have a due date for the receipts and you can be able to track with the help of our notifications. Under the programs, the complete list of programs will be available and you can be able to fetch that while creating a receipts for your business. In the reports module, we have provided you with lots of default reports. And in case if you want to create any custom report based on your requirement, you can be able to create a report also as per your need. Now these reports can also be downloaded in Excel so that you can make use of this in any way for your business growth. From the timesheet module, you can be able to track the attendance of all of your employees and they can also be able to apply leave from this timesheet module itself. In the executives or the users module, you can create a user and you can assign various roles for them. Now these users will have access to perform only the functions which was allocated to this particular role. For example, if I take the counselor role, and the senior counselor role, both of them will be having different permissions to access the CRR. Whatever data the senior counselor can be able to see might not be visible to the counselor and these permissions can be defined by the admin in the admin panel. And in case if you don't want to give access to a particular user or if they leave the company, you can simply ban that particular user and you can create a new user for giving this access. Now this covers the end-to-end -end demo of Educational Institute CRM. Now, if you want to have a detailed discussion or if you want to understand about our CRM in detail, you can schedule a live one-on-one -on -one demo with our experts and they will be giving you a complete in-detail demo about our CRM and how you can customize this as per your business need. As I mentioned earlier in this demo itself, you can be able to customize all the fields, all the functions as per your need. Even if you are a training institute or educational institute or even for higher educational institutes, you can be able to customize this CRM as per your business requirement in an easy way. Hit the like button at the bottom if you like this video and if you want to get more details about our CRM, you can subscribe to our channel to get more recent and relevant updates. Thank you so much for watching this video and using the link below, you can be able to get started with the trial account of Solid Performance CRM. Thank you.